so this is part two of my gas fireplace conversion where I'm converting from a wood burning fireplace to a fire glass fireplace that is no hassle, no headache. So yesterday, in the first video, I went ahead and painted all of this to make sure that it is a nice uniform black. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the gas burner assembly and test it. And then once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to wash the glass and put it in. All right, so first things first, this is the H burner assembly that I bought. It came with, uh, it was about $48. It came with a little tube and some fittings and an important clamp that you put in the damper to make sure the damper can never close because you have a gas burning appliance here. So um, I've got a couple of wrenches and then I have some Teflon thread sealant and it's important to look on the back of this and make sure that it's rated for use with natural gas or propane if you've got a propane system. So uh, let me get set up. I'm going to get some paper towels and let me get set up and let's get going. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is figure out what fittings you're going to use. And then you need to put... Alright, can I get this open? Alright, so sometimes this stuff's hard to... Open. It's always a good idea to stir it a little bit. And you just put this on here. You can use uh, Teflon tape if you want. I just don't like it. Um, I think the Teflon paste is a better product. So it's what I like to use. Wipe off the excess. All right, and now we'll go ahead and use our wrench to get this nice and snug. At that point, we've got this on here, and it needs to turn just a little bit more. All right, this can be a little tricky to get started, but once it's started, you can use a wrench to snug it. It's a flare fitting. Don't put any pipe dope on it or Teflon paste. see anything here. First things first, you want to get this on here and snug, and then you can adjust where you put your burner assembly. So if it whistles, you've got your gas valve open too much, and um, you need to turn it down. So we're going to turn it off, and next I've got to wash a whole bunch of glass beads. 
Alright, so here's the process to wash these out. I put a colander in the sink and I just turn on the hot and cold water. And then I just pour 10 pounds. Ten pounds of glass goes into the colander and I just kind of rinse the water around. I'm just trying to get the dust off of it. It's not a scrubbing. And then I let it drain while I crush this for recycling. So you just bring the colander over and dump it out. Um, there is a formula to measure how much glass you need. Um, I ordered 120 pounds and one of my goals is to hide that. And I've got just a little bit more that I need to put over there and uh, I think I'll have just enough. All right, so at this point I have got the glass placed where I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and light it. And it makes a little more noise than I'd like, but I I'm okay with that. It still looks real good, so I'm going to turn it off and let it dry, and uh, thanks for watching my video. And this whole project was about $350. Everything came from Amazon, and I'll put links in the bottom of the video.